to ECCSC Live. I'm your host, Tyrone Muhammad. And uh, as you can see, it's time for us to really get the business and talk about some, some um, issues that we've been dealing with for the last two weeks right now. I mean, um, I'm happy to be able to talk about this and to even field your call. So call in live at 312-738-1060. That's 312-738-1060. I look forward to hearing your voice. Call in with your statement, your comment, and your concern. Listen, this upcoming mayor's race, that is very critical. For the last week now, I've been hearing this heavy uh, concentration on prison reform, the formerly incarcerated. Um, honestly, with the men that I'm in the act with uh, and, the, and the funding that's always available or necessary for guys to uh, re-enter society, we can't see it. We don't see it. Come election time, Everybody that's running for public office talks about housing, talks about health care, or mental health, as well as talk about um, the prison reform. This is a sit, sit. This is a serious issue. Cream, y'all, we got cream here. Come here, cream. Come here. We going we gonna do this again. Look, y'all see cream. Cream hangs out with me during this hour. Come on, Cream, stay. You sit here and watch the people. He think he's a celebrity now. Y'all have made Cream a celebrity. Y'all see Cream? Cream, can I get the business? Can I do business now? Tell the people hi, Cream. Say hi to the people. Hey, people. This is Cream. This is my little buddy. Now stay right here, Cream. Look, Cream want to be on TV all the time. He did a few commercials. Now he think he a uh, Robert De Niro or somebody. So listen, the mayor's race, um, formerly incarcerated brothers, look, if we don't organize at some point, everyone will continue to use our condition the issues that's facing our community, the issues that's facing these corners, these brothers on these blocks, the unemployment, the violence, they're gonna continue to use these issues to, to run for public office. At some point, we got to hold them accountable because the recidivism rate isn't dropping. Uh, prisons are overcrowded still. No education. Uh, opportunities really and a, a higher learning within the prison industrial complex. It is any. There's no bachelor's program that these brothers can get into and the the vocational programs are abysmal. They are not enough uh, uh, to, for, to help the guys properly to fully prepare for opportunities once they return to society. We must hold these elected officials accountable. Just right recently. I don't have a I don't have a dog in this fight or, or a horse in this fight. Let's just say that. Be respectful. But Lori has been talking about Miss Miss Lightfoot. Ms. Preckwinkle has been talking about formerly incarcerated men and prison reform. I haven't seen that. I don't see where the actual guys, the grassroots individuals who's actually out here working, all these organizations that I can identify that has been actually out here serving the formerly incarcerated. I, ha I haven't seen no one talk of these issues or these individuals. I always see Safer Foundation. We hear about Arnie Duncan and the money he receives as a result of violence reduction. Most of the violence that's being reduced by these organizations are formerly incarcerated men who then work with these organizations. But I, I don't see where the grassroots organizations get the funding to actually stand solid against the issues of mass incarceration. I don't see it every election time. Every election time, 
prison reform become like the number one issue on top of violence? Who do they think uh, help to curb violence? Because there's a 17% clearance rate for the police. It's clear that they respond to uh, crime, but they're never there to uh, uh, reduce crime in the sense of violence and murders. It don't seem that they're able to do that without the community assistance. So why not use the brothers who perpetrated violence and crime on the community that have changed their lives and give them an opportunity to, to make a living? Those brothers out there, it's a lot of them that make a living doing what they help create it. Make a living doing and serving the community since they from the community. We even have laws on the book that doesn't even allow formerly incarcerated men to become male. I mean to become uh, older men. All politicians, local people, you have to get out and vote. You have to get out and vote or else formerly incarcerated brothers we will continue to be used as pawns in this so-called political season. Every political season, they use our bodies, our issues, our condition. They suck the blood from the community, man, in the name of uh, 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 talking points. Stop, boy. In the name of talking points for prison reform prison uh, uh, violence reduction, but they never call us at the table. We never sit at the table. I'm looking at today, I see, I get a, um, a, a, a link talking about how Miss Lori Lightfoot would reduce this and reduce that, but we never get a call. They never call us. It's like, when do we get a call? The people that's really out here. I'm not talking about you snatching a few brothers who you thought or you, you have identified that, that perpetrate like they really believe in, in, in prison reform. I'm talking about the guys who actually do this for a living without any resources, without the funding, without being the most popular catch that's in the street. They actually save lives. I've seen it myself, man. Even if it's not my organization, I would like to work with those ones that, that we, we identify. Because at the end of the day, it's a collaboration. It's a collaboration of, of, of um, organization and formerly incarcerated men and groups that can change the condition. We have to eliminate the violence in Chicago. Please call in if you have any comment or concern or question or even suggestion. 312-738-1060. Uh, 312-738-1060. I don't take a side right now in this election. I guess if I don't take it now, I'm not taking it in, uh, at no time. Neither one of these candidates have reached out to my group or organization. We would line up on, on, on the right side if that was a candidate. We thought that best would best serve our condition. But to me, all of them are the same. All of them are the same until they show us they're not. We'll be talking about these same issues four years from now. We'll be talking about these same issues. Trust me. Don't say I told you so. Four years from now, if we don't organize, as I was told to tell you all, that we must organize, man. I collected effort, not just the formerly incarcerated, but all of those who feel left out and abandoned by the political system. Most definitely, there's no such thing to me as a, a, a criminal justice system. The system does not work for us. It incarcerates us more than it do any other people that, that, that thrive in Chicago. It doesn't serve us. Once again, 312-738-1060. And the other issue, um, the campaign promises. Write down the campaign promise. We could do this together. Let's write down all these campaign promises and line up as a group and talk about these promises in your circles, in your church, in your community. Let's talk about all the promises that was, was uh, spewed over, I mean, in front of the cameras, uh, uh, news cameras. Let's talk about it because it seemed to me that every time a candidate opened his mouth, his or her mouth, the news media is there to record all the lies 
and all the false promises. But they never play those lies and promises back to these people, these individuals, once they're elected. How is it the news media is so good at recording conversations and issues, but never hold these elected officials accountable for the, for the news or the message that they recorded them during the whole campaign trail? You said that such and such and such and such, Mayor, that you would do this. How have that changed? How have that changed? Cream, do you think the news media should be held responsible too? Why we never hold the news media responsible, Cream? You know what, Cream? It seems as though the news media always trying to find dirt on everybody else. Why is it then, Cream, that we don't do the same thing to the news media and hold each one of them accountable since we chase their stories? We chase their stories, but the, the, the promises never seem to get back to the people. I mean, they never hold the candidates accountable for the uh, promises they made to the people. Why don't the news do that, Cream? Can you say why? Why? Cream say y'all liars. Cream say the news media is not the news. The news is a tool for the politicians, a tool to put the people to sleep. That's what it seemed like to me. We chase these fantastic stories, but never the little people on the ground. The news media don't care about you until you become a murder victim. Then all types of cameras showing up. Why is it that the community organization, the grassroots organization, stop crime on the front end? But you all never come around news media to do a story, to talk to these brothers about their love for the community, talk to these brothers about their dedications to the sisters too, mainly. I see a lot of the sisters on the front line all the time. I see the men have fallen asleep and I see the sisters have waken up or is it woken up to the, to the lies and the deceptions. Please people stay awoke, stay active, stay engaged because it's about to get worse. It's not gonna get better. Anytime our women and children cannot walk out in their own communities and feel safe, walk out into their own community that, and feel safe that their child will return home after going to school that's down the block? How is that even, how is that possible? If you're talking about prison reform as a mayor candidate, and you're not talking about violence prevention, and have those men who have perpetrated violence on their community and on themselves, at the table to help you gauge what it is that you're about to get into, it sounds to me is that you all just run to run. You all don't run in elections to, to correct things. I can't believe it until you show me. I think I, I'm starting to believe I'm from St. Louis because I'm not seeing none of the, the, the hype you so we so motivated. It seemed like everybody come in and usurp the black agenda. Everybody take the black agenda and make it their agenda and say, it's sad that the black agenda <laughs> involves prison reduction, reducing crime. That's a part of a black agenda. It's sad that the black agenda has become violence reduction. It's, it's amazing to me that violence reduction has become a part of the black agenda. It's a shame to me as f that, that fatherless households still is a so-called black agenda. It sounds like that's a human agenda. It sounds like that is like natural for men to do, take care of their family and their responsibility tell you what a black agenda is. Standing on these companies down the street from our neighborhoods, and I'm saying a mile or so, they're building while we're dying. They're building 
while we're being incarcerated. They're building while our homes and communities are still being marginalized and our people are leaving the city. They're building. You have 50 some billion dollars worth of construction cranes going up downtown, beautifying buildings. While you have black bodies, brown bodies, uh, lying waste and languishing in these neighborhoods. You mean to tell me that building buildings is more important than building lives? You tell me we have $56 billion and no telling how much TIP funding in that $56 billion. That's y'all tax dollars. Goes towards buildings downtown Chicago while your children and son, your daughters, they suffer. See, I can do this all day. Because when you actually live this life and you, the pain and the suffering that we see as a result of uh, the neglect, this didn't just happen. You can say what you want to say about Smith and Weston, poppy seeds or coca leaves. There's not, the, 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 the drugs are not, not produced or manufactured in Inglewood, Lundell, or Roseland. Then someone is putting them in our neighborhoods. We have to, Cream, look, Cream, can you tell me, Cream, where do drugs come from? Cream, can you tell me where do guns come from? Is there a gun manufacturer in Inglewood? How do brothers get all these extended clips? and all these bullets. How do they get these Glocks and these SIGs and these 45s? Huh? These Desert Eagles and all these extended clips. Who produced these clips and who dropped them off in the hood, man? Do you know if Poppy Seed Coca Leaf is produced on the, the vacant lots in Inglewood? How about cocaine? Cocaine? Where'd that come from? Who do we hold accountable for the substance and the pills that's being manufactured? Huh? The synthetic pills that being made off in college dormitories. <laughs> Who we hold accountable for that, uh, Green? Who? Which one of these candidates is going to call a spade a spade? When do we then take... Um, the issues that's facing uh, brothers coming home like uh, discrimination against housing. This is ECCSC cream. Ex-cons for community and social change. See, we want to change. It's like we are the ones who's urging change. We're urging change. Not the legislator. Them the ones need to be locked up. Anytime these people take your tax dollars and give them to the highest and, and, then, and then funnel programs to serve others and it never filters into your community. Take our tax dollars, city council vote on these uh, 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 things. They vote on these issues. They allow companies to come in and monopolize um the resources in the community start with the construction company, the construction industry. If we 33% or so, according to them, of Chicago, then why don't we have 33% of the billions of dollars that's coming through construction? Why is it that I have to wait on city council or court to rehab or take a vacant lot or to, I'm going to say it again, to rehab a house that's dangerous and could potentially cause violence and, and, and could be a, 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 a pariah to the community where women and children could be raped and killed. Don't we have a lot of children and girls, girls and boys coming up missing? Why would we not allow people from the community to develop those properties without all the red tape? Why the red tape? 
because then you allow other people to come in our communities. Have nothing against our Mexican brothers, our brown brothers. Their struggle is their struggle. But you, we have our communities are being taken by Mexicans. Believe it or not, while we sit there as black men and watch the moral degradation, the continued disrespect in our communities from the business owners against our women, the lack of proper education and closing of schools while our children, no food deserts, no ability, to, I mean, hell, I don't, you know that there's no, there's not a lot of grocery stores in the community where our people can go and eat. And we don't own it. We don't own grocery stores in our community. We have people selling us potato chips, popcorn, and uh, uh, cookies and candy at the corner store, along with blunt papers for weed, along with liquor to continue to keep us in a, in a dead and a sleepy state. Did you know that, Cream? Did you know that? You know one thing about your name, Cream? Cash rule everything around me. Cream, get the money. Dollar, dollar bill, y'all. This is what his name means. <laughs> so I'm just saying, I'm having fun with this, but this is serious. I'm serious as a heart attack. I'm trying to talk around the issues, man. The issues that we, in a way where, man, we could get it. I mean, we have, I have to be responsible, Cream, to, to look out for my neighbor, right? So over the next four years, I would go with ECCSC cream would be to organize our ex-offender population so that we can have the strongest voting block. See, the LGBTQ, would you say what you want to say about them and how they helped Lori get in office or win the runoff? Y'all didn't see that coming. You voted for Daly. I know you did. I know you did. A lot of y'all sold Preckwinkle out and went with Daly. Preckwinkle was not, nah, she ain't the machine. Oh, she no longer the machine. Now who the machine? Lori? See, y'all are asleep. They sold out our pastors, our so-called business leaders. They wanted all of us to ride with Daly. They wanted us to ride with Daly. And Daly didn't make it over the hump. Cream. They wanted us to go with Daly. Then Daly didn't make it. They back on Prack Winkle bandwagon. She should be mad at them. She should expose them when she lose. <laughs> she, when she lose, she should talk about them and tell them, where you going? You can't play with the keyboard. So, listen. This is the deal. And, 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 and the final minutes. We have to organize. We have to make them wish that our incarceration, we have to control the narrative by which we return to society and care for our families. We have to care for our families. Our families is we, our, we want our families safe like the families in Wimeka, Glencoe, Kenilworth, uh, 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 Highland Park, Everston. We want our families and children to be safe coming to and fro from school. We have to figure out what that look like, people. It makes no sense that we could be 30,000 a year coming out of these prisons and we not insulted. That we could be 30,000 a year coming out these prisons and we haven't organize an effective coalition against anybody that's not from our communities, our neighborhood that don't have our best interests at heart. I don't need to be a part of no union to work in my neighborhood. The union needs to be a part of my neighborhood to work in my neighborhood. This is what's happening, man. They're telling you what you can and can't do in the very city that they lock your bodies up <coughs> In the very city where they bury your sons and daughters and, and everybody where, where, where we, 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 we dealing with substance abuse issues. The very city where our sons have been locked up. And then this is the same city where candidates for, for, for marijuana sales and distribution. And it's the same city that's talking about 
uh, legalizing marijuana and we don't own the plants. We about to wake up before it's too late. I'm not waiting on y'all though. I'm moving out, ECCSC, our group, and our various businesses and, 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 and associations and, and, and collaborations. We're going to build wealth and we're going to do what we have to do for the people. I was put on this earth and born to go through all I've been through so that I can do what I can as a servant, a community servant for the people that I can help. Believe me, you don't put money in my hand and expect me not to serve the people. But that's the problem. The right people never receive the resources. The same old individuals. I was, I was embarrassed to see Lori Lightfoot and Willie Wilson line up with Safer and brothers who's incarcerated. Y'all know as much as I, as well as I know that Safer Foundation hasn't served us. I would like them to be, we would probably need to do a lawsuit against Safer on how much money they've received of public funding and private donations. And it, that, that, that their services haven't trickled down in our community to help reduce recidivism. When I was in prison, I worked for SAFER. We was the ones as prisoners who helped the brothers learn how to write resumes. We taught them interviewing skills. We taught them finances and, 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 and uh, uh, literacy, banking. We showed them how to do that. We gave them manhood training on how to be a man and how to budget your money. We did that as the form of incarcerated. And Safer was the brand that was in prison, but we came home and Safer wasn't there for us or nobody else. Check, check the record. Check the track record. Let's find out how much money Safer has received over the years since its inception. And then I guarantee you, their, their, their efforts don't match the money. Give the resources to the grassroots people. You don't know who they are, I do. And I disperse it and hold them accountable for their little section of the city. That's how we do it. You have to have accountability amongst us. So at the end of the day, even, among, even with me, I want accountability. I love accountability. So, one more thing, at the end of the day, it's going to take us to save us. ECCSC is going to take us to save us. So thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to collaborating. Man, stay in touch with us, eccsc.info, eccsc.info, eccsc Facebook, Tyrone Muhammad on Facebook. Let's stay, let's stay tight. Thank you.